friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture, and uh, first off I want to say hopefully I don't have too much of an echo. I am working in my new office and in the new flat, and it has a little bit of a, a sound, some sound issues we're going to work out, but I wanted to get this tutorial out, so bear with me. So we're going to make something like this with this uh, kind of an abstract fun flower. And one of the things that I'm going to do in this tutorial is sample um, colors from images, which is one of my favorite things to do, and it's a major time saver, and I am all about that life. So to start off with, I actually went to um, Unsplash and just Googled Red Rose, and I'm going to sample from this rose here. And what's cool is I don't even have to download that, to be honest. Um, I just with my I just screenshot the part that I want so I'm on a Mac and I'm gonna hit command shift 4 and that gives me a cursor and then I just kind of draw over the red part make sure I don't get any of the green and I sample it like that I'm not sure about the keyboard shortcut for recording a screen on a PC but you can find that online so I made a little screenshot and I opened that up in my Photoshop so I've got a blank document here and I've got this um, this rose here and we are using, we're gonna like sample colors directly from an image and I'm all about all the effects that you can do with that. So for this tutorial, I made this little petal brush and what's cool about this brush is if you go here to the shape dynamics, um, on the control, I have set it to fade and I've set the minimum diameter to zero and I put the fade number at 100. And so what that means is if I option click, and now um, this is actually, we're going to be using this with the, this brush with the Photoshop mixer brush settings. So um, if you are a Patreon, you can just download this um, set right away. But we're over here in our mixer brush over on the left hand side. And this is a mixer, mix, mixer brush that I've created. And um, what I do is to load the color up, I just option click in this image and then your color is going to be loaded up in here, the multiple colors. And um, I have the setting set to uh, a very blendy mode. So I'm just going to show you what this brush does. So I'm going to go over here to this new document and you know what, let's go here. I'm going to go to window, arrange, to a vertical. And let's just move our document over here because I kind of want to have a visual reference. I was just playing around with this this morning and thought this was like a cool thing. So I thought I would um, show you guys this little trick. So now that I've had the color loaded up into the brush, I'm just going to go like this. And as you can see, it makes this, I've sampled the image directly from this, uh, this rose here, but or the idea isn't to make the exact same rose, but it's just to sample those colors. And so now when I go like this, I get like this really cool um, petal sort of motif. So that is super fun and super easy and I didn't have to do anything. So um, I love like, you know, using uh, sampling from photographs to paint. It's just amazing. It's an amazing time saving trick. So that's the back side of it. And you know what, I'm just going to free transform that command T and just leave it kind of like this as the back back layer. And now I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to take my brush again and do the same thing, but I'm going to do like this one. I'm going to do three leaves instead of that. So, okay, close enough. So now we've got our back and now I've got my snap. I'm going to turn that off right there view because I don't want it snapping. Okay. Okay, so I just had to jump off and close my door because I had some lovely construction noises coming on, on after lunch. So right now we have our back leaves and our front leaves and we're gonna put a little gold leaf in the middle there. So what I'm gonna do is I still have that same leaf brush and it's still, everything's the same, but what we're gonna do is rather than having the rose color, we're gonna load up some gold. So I'm gonna go to my sidebar gold palette and this is the one that comes with my 24 karat gold brushes. And let's see here, I'll just make it like this. And I'm going to sample from inside here. And for my Patreon demo, I'll have a mini version of this that you can sample from. So I'm gonna click Option, 
and just click anywhere over here that you like. Um, and so now when I option click, I've loaded that gold in there and you can confirm that that's loaded when you look over here. So now I'm gonna make, put that new layer in between these two layers and just kind of play like that. And now we've got those gold flowers, uh, the gold in the center, which I think looks really cool. And now I wanna make some little splashy. So I'm gonna make a new layer and then I'm going to go to my 24 karat gold collection 24 karat gold brush magic and let's see about number one. Oh, that number one's pretty cool. Although I think on the other one I used maybe brush number five. Anyway, it's some texture brushes so you can just play around but I just added a, just a touch of texture. So these brushes are actually already preloaded so I'm not even gonna bother to load them up. But you know what, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna use brush number one because I think it looks cool. It's already preloaded with gold. And I'm just going to, let's see, maybe put it in here. I just want some little touches of gold so I'm trying not to get it too big. There we go. That I think looks really pretty. So as you can see, this is really easy to make but it looks really, really cool and pretty and it's got a lot of texture, it's really interesting. And now, what do we want to do? First of all, let's go ahead and just place, um, make this, I wanted to make like a, a little bit of a, like a, what is this? Like some leaves, you know? Some gold leaf kind of going through here as a decorative motif. So maybe I'll turn this into like a card design or I don't even know what social media graphic, but I thought it would be cool to have a little vine. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna make a gold vine and this is, um, I still have, notice I still have my mixer brush selected, but we're going to go and I'm going to get a, a vine brush from my spring botan, one of my spring botanicals collection. So I'm just going to flip through here and see what I want. I'm just going to, I'll pick one like I picked here. I don't know what brush I actually picked. But let's just play around. This one's okay. So, okay, I'll just get brush number three. I think it's okay. And what I'm going to do is take this brush down. I'm going to resample the gold, but get it at a size that I want, which is, that's kind of close enough. And I think that's, I think that's the brush that I used. So, Whenever you resize a brush, it's gonna pull the last um, bit you've sampled. But we're gonna go back over to my sidebar palette and I'm going to sample from like a darker, the darker um, bit right here. So I'm gonna option and click and load up some of a little bit darker of a gold into this brush. And it's got the, the setting set is like not wet. So I don't know if that's the one I want. Let's go into here. And I can just play around with where I sample it from. That looks pretty cool. So it's just, uh, every time it's gonna look a little bit different, depending on where you sample your gold from. And let's see, I can play with a dark one. That's kind of cool. I like to get where it kind of transitions. So I am just playing around. Okay, that is close enough. We are just gonna go with that. And I have the set like, this is the mixer brush, but I have the dry settings um, put on this brush. So it's like just restamping that gold. But when you do it like this, it looks really cool and dimensional and fun. So I am just playing around with this and finding something that I like. And what's cool is this is kind of, this is a little bit pressure sensitive, this brush. So you can kind of make it, um, you know, smaller over here. That looks pretty good. We are not going to be super perfectionist about it, but there you go. And one thing that I also did, that you could just leave it like this. This is a cool little motif. You could use this like on the edge of your card or something and put the card design in the middle and, you know, maybe duplicate it and reverse it over here. And I want to use this for like a wedding card design or something, something cool. It's very dramatic. But one thing that I also did was I kind of blurred these, um, 
these leaf, leaf edges. And let's see here, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways you could do it. So I'm gonna duplicate that front one and I'm gonna go over, close my spring bot botanicals. And I think I actually used, what did I use? Um, where are they? I had, oh yeah. So I had some pastel brushes that I um, had released for Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Create. And this is for my pastelish sampler. And I'll link that below so you can download that directly from Adobe's website. But this is kind of a good blending brush and I'm gonna grab this brush number five, except up here when I select this, it's automatically loaded with some color. I'm gonna like click on this um, icon right here to take the color out. And I'm gonna take the brush size down a little bit. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. And on this thing, I'm just gonna kind of blend around the corners. You can do that. And I think that's like what I did to start off with. And I can do the same thing on the back one. So I'm gonna save my original petals and I'm gonna duplicate that layer. And then I'm just gonna kind of go around the edges and blur that a little bit. And we kind of got the like little rougher drawn edges. And actually I took it a step further and I will show you how I do that. So I'm gonna make a new layer on top of everything. And I'm gonna grab my brushwork brushes. And let's grab one of these little bad boys, one of the dry ones here. Now I'm gonna take my eyedropper and sample from one of the lighter reds in this in this uh, illustration here. So I'm gonna go and get kind of a saturated bright red and we want to get a regular brush, not the mixer brush. And this is okay. Okay, so this is brush number 18 and as you can see it adds like a, quite a, like a little texture. So I'm gonna sample from here, make sure it looks good. I think I'll take my brush size down. And if you want, you can just, um, do I have anything on? Okay, oh, I have the flow way down. Hold on one second. So I'm gonna take this down. Maybe I'll take it up. And what I did was I just kind of drew some strokes over the top so it looked a little bit less like sterile and a little warm, a little bit more warm, but you kind of have to play around with it to get like the texture right and everything. But I kind of just went like this and added a little bit of that like rough texture. And you know, you can just grab like any one of the brushes, but I just kind of went like this, but the texture turned out just a little bit nicer there. You can leave that on or leave that off, but it kind of just adds a little bit of like a rougher, more hand, like a little texture to it, a little bit more, um, less sterile and you can even like take some of that texture down here and just draw that in. So add a little bit of texture to the, the thing, the, the leaves in the front and it's nice and it just kind of adds like a little bit more of a uh, less kind of like artificial look and more of like a hand kind of touched look. So that's cool. And what else did we add? If you want, you can I'm gonna make like a layer underneath it. And I've got this soft um, new watercolor brush. And if I go over here and select my pattern stamp tool and select this brush, and what I'm going to do is take that screenshot, hit Command M, that turns it into a pattern. I'm gonna click OK. So again, I'm using that image to sample um, from this picture to paint with the colors that are in the picture. So now if I have that, uh, my pattern stamp tool, that watercolor brush selected, and I make sure and I go through and I select that pattern that I just defined of the um, rows, then I can, let's play with this. Yeah, this is like a little bit of a, oh, my processor is going a little bit slow today, friends but I can just add some kind of like, this is like a soft watercolor brush. So I can just add some like soft little effects around my, around my image. And even you can take the flow down if you want um, to make it like look a little bit more subtle. But anyway, depending on what your kind of um, 
your layout is or how you want to do that, you can use this to make some subtle accents like in the background. And I'll have some like demos of, you know, like what you can um, probably put it on my Instagram. So maybe some things that you can create with this. But this is just a little motif. So you can use this um, if you are creating, say, a card design or an art print or some kind of some printable or anything like that, um, or a template. So it just kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of some things that you can do. And I love having this like gold um, metallic sort of leaf accent. And also one last thing you could do with this that might look kind of cool. I'm gonna duplicate this layer and hide one of them just because I wanna save my original in case I don't like my edits. And I'm gonna go over here to my 24 karat gold collection and I'm going to use, it's my 24 karat gold magic. And then I'm going to use one of my blender brushes. Let's try blend one. Let's see. And these ones are a mixer brush. So it automatically turns on your mixer brush. There's no color. And I can just kind of play with this and blend some of this. Um, maybe not this brush. Let's try blending number two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to click on this brush, sample all layers. So I want to like see how this goes. And that's kind of cool. So, you know, you can make like a little bit of a blend with that and just kind of, I don't know, it's cool how it kind of smears it all together or take blend number three. Let's try this one more time. And oh, first I have to put sample all layers. That's why it wasn't doing anything. And I like putting this on top of a new layer so it's like non-destructive. So that's kind of fun. You can make a little bit of a blendy smudge there and have it kind of look like it's melting a little bit. But um, yeah, I think I might just leave it as it is. I had played around with some of those or even like the wet brushes. You can, um, I wanna make sample all layers, excuse me here. This is good. So you could play around with smearing some of that, maybe adding like a new layer and having a little, oh, it's still on sample all layers. Having a little bit of a gold beside it or whatever, but we will just leave it like this because I think that's cool. So that's a cool motif. And if you have uh, any questions, just let me know down in the comments. Excuse me if I'm a little bit space cadet today. I haven't um, been making so many tutorials with my move and everything. So just kind of getting back in the swing of things. So excuse me if the video isn't perfect. And we are, I am about ready to upgrade this computer because my, with my video, when I'm doing my videos, it's getting a little bit slow. So stay tuned for more, stay tuned for a new computer. And just ask me if you have any questions and I'll link everything down below. Um, and some of these brushes will be exclusively on my Patreon. So happy creating and stay tuned for the next video.